Dear students, in this unit, we will talk about phylum Cnidaria. Now, Cnidaria, it is also known as phylum Coelentreta, is a group comprising more than 9,000 living species of animal. Now, these animals, other than porifers or sponges, are called as eumetazoans. Eumetazoans mean true animals. So, they have proper tissues, that's why they are called as true animal. Now, most of the members of this phylum Nideria, they are marine animals, they live in the oceans, and they include corals, hydras, jellyfish, Portuguese men of war, sea anemones, sea pens, sea whips, and sea fans, etc. When we talk about the major classes of this phylum, there are four major classes. One is hydrozoa. Hydrozoa contains hydra, such as Portuguese men of war. Then we have scyphozoa. Scyphozoa mostly contain jellyfish. Then we have anthozoa. It's a different kind of jellyfish, box jellyfish. It contains. And then we have cubozoa. Sea anemones and corals, they are placed in this class. Now, Cnidarians are radially symmetrical, which means that they have similar parts which are arranged symmetrically around a central axis. Cnidarians have two body forms, polyps and medusa. These two body forms, they often, they replace each other in, during their life cycle. So, their body type is diploblastic, which means that there are two germ layers endoderms and ectoderms their body is composed of. Some Nideria, they live a solitary life, while many other, they live collectively in the form of colonies such as corals. Now, when we talk about their body shape, there are definitely two different body shapes which are present in these Nidarians. One we called as polyp and the other is called medusa. These two forms, they alternate each other during their life cycle. So the polyform, which is represented as hydra as well, it is typically has a dorsal mouth and it is surrounded by tentacles. Now, when we talk about the medusa or jellyfish form, the mouth is present in the lower concave as compared to the hydra. This is also called as the oral surface. Some Cnidarians have the polyps shape during one stage of their life cycle and medusa in the other stage of their life cycle. This is the life cycle of uh, one of the member of phylum Cnidaria, life cycle of Obelia. So Obelia has this vegetative body and uh, it has different feeding polyps, which remains solitary on the ground what happens that some of the medusae birds, they are bird off from the body and they start floating. So when we have different types of medusae, some type of medusae, they give rise to the eggs, while the other type, they reproduce sexually and give rise to sperms. So the mixing of egg and sperm results in the form of zygote, and that zygote develops into ciliated planula larvae. Now, this larvae attach itself to some point or some bodies or some rocks and develop into a young polyp colony. So, this is the life cycle of phylum Cnidarian, a typical organism of phylum Cnidaria, which has sexual as well as asexual reproduction during their life cycle. 